Hello everyone, this is Jennifer. In this video, I'll be starting off with the practical part of the fun flow statement. The preparation of fun flow statement basically consists of three steps. Step one is the schedule of changes in working capital. Step two is the adjusted profit and loss account and preparation of various accounts depending upon the adjustments. Step 3 is a statement of sources and application of funds. Your schedule of changes in working capital. So moving on to that, let's look on to the meaning of working capital. Working capital can be categorized into two ways, which is one is the gross working capital. The second one is the net working capital. Gross working capital is the total amount invested in your current assets by the organization whereas the net working capital is the current assets minus the current liabilities which basically shows the excess of the current assets over the current liabilities. Hence the schedule of changes in working capital is a statement which is prepared to show the changes in the working capital between the two balance sheet dates. Your second statement which is the adjusted profit and loss account and preparation of various accounts depending upon the adjustment. It is basically prepared in order to find out the funds from operation or the exact profit that is earned or gained from the operating activities. It basically depicts the internal sources of raising fund within the organization your step 3 which is a statement of sources and application of funds it is the main statement in a fund flow statement it basically shows the inflow of funds and the outflow of funds so let's start off with the first statement which is schedule of changes in working capital as I told you all earlier it is a statement which shows the flow or the changes which are happening in the working capital between two balance sheet dates. So while preparing a schedule of changes in working capital, one needs to note down the four points. So in this schedule of changes in working capital, we are basically comparing the current assets and current liabilities. When there is an increase in current asset, it leads to an increase in working capital. And when there is a decrease in current asset, it leads to a decrease in working capital. So the current asset has a direct proportion with the working capital. And the current liability, when there is an increase in current liability, it leads to a decrease in working capital. And when there is a decrease in current liability, it leads to an increase in working capital so your current liability has an inverse proportion with the working capital so let's look on to the format of working capital or the schedule of changes in working capital so your schedule of changes or the statement of changes in working capital we basically compare the current assets and current liabilities. Your, so your format basically consists of particulars, your previous year amount, your current year amount, which is nothing but your two years balance sheet amount. That is what we are comparing. Then we basically show whether there is an increase in working capital or whether there is a decrease in working capital. So we look on to the each item which is shown in your statement of changes in working capital. Point 1 is your current assets. So current asset is any asset which can be easily converted into cash. Under that we have inventories. Inventories are nothing but your stock. Stock can be of different forms. Either it can be in the form of raw materials or in the form of consumable stores or in the form of finished goods. Stock in the form of raw material is nothing but the stock which is purchased 
for the process of production those are the direct raw materials which are used in the course of production or manufacturing activities of goods stock in the form of consumable stores is basically the intermediate goods which are purchased which do not take part as a direct materials but which are purchased for business activity and are used in the process of production example could be your oil grease stationery etc stock in the form of finished goods is your stock which are ready for sale so all these stocks all the three stocks are considered to be as inventories moving on to the next one cash in hand which is again a current asset cash at bank the balance maintained by an organization in the bank accounts and there are other current assets which are not mentioned which could be debtors advances recoverable accrued incomes accrued incomes are nothing but your outstanding incomes wherein services are rendered but the income needs to be earned at a future prepaid expenses the expenses which are paid in advance the next is your income tax which are paid in advance and your sales tax all these are considered to be as current assets once we consider everything we total up our current assets moving on to the current liabilities current liability is a liability to be paid by an organization within one year under that we have the trade creditors trade creditors are the amount payable to your suppliers then your dealers deposits then your expenses payable expenses payable can be of different forms example could be your tax payable interest payable accounts payable dividend payable etc then there are other current liability which are not mentioned example could be your incomes which are received in advances and expenses which are outstanding and bank overdraft which is very important current liability so other current liabilities are also added up and we total up our total current liabilities your working capital is nothing but your current assets minus current liabilities then we show whether there is a increase or decrease in the working capital here if there is a increase in working capital we take that and we consider it as application of funds and if there is decrease in working capital it is considered to be the sources of fund why the reason is if there is an increase in working capital it is considered as application of fund because the working capital requirement that is the funds are required for the working capital requirements whereas when there is a decrease in working capital which is considered to be a source the working capital requirements meaning to tell the funds were not required in the working capital requirements so when there is a increase it is application when there is a decrease it is sources so when the working capital requirement is required then it is considered to be a source when the working capital requirement is not required then it is considered to be a application moving on to giving you an example of consumable any one in current asset i will take and i will tell you how basically we are working out the statement of changes in working capital for example your cash in hand for the last year it is 14000 and for the current year it is 12000 if you see cash in hand has decreased from previous year to current year so what is the decrease amount 2000 14000 minus 12000 it is 2000 so according to the logic which i told you all earlier when the current asset increases your your working capital increases when the current asset decreases your working capital decreases so 14400 minus 12000 which is 2000 which is a decrease so you'll put it up in your decrease column because it is a current asset when current asset increases you'll put it up in your increase column when current asset decreases you'll put it up in your decrease column 
moving on to a, taking one example from a current liability i will take down the same amounts which is trade creditors 14000 last year in the current year it is 12000 so here also if you see there is a decrease in current liability but the logic remains does not remain same but it differs for the current liability when the current liability decreases your working capital increases so you will put down the 2000 amount in the increase column and when the current liability increases you will put down the amount in when the current liability increases you will put down the amount in the decrease column so increase in current assets lead to increase in working capital increase in decrease in current assets lead to decrease in working capital increase in current liability leads to decrease in working capital and decrease in current liability leads to increase in working capital which is very very important to start up our problems on statement of changes in working capital i again repeat when there is a net increase it will be shown as application of funds and when there is a net decrease it will be shown as sources of funds why it is shown as sources of funds because the funds were not required for your working capital requirements when there is a decrease when there is an increase you are showing it as application because you need extra funds to be shown for your working capital requirements let's move on to the first problem your first problem problem on statement of changes in working capital so you have your liabilities there are two balance sheets which are given for the year 2008 and for the year 2009 so uh, what have they told us to prepare they have told us to prepare in the end of the question if you see statement of changes in working capital so for a statement of changes in working capital require only the current asset and current liability so we will categorize every item whether it is a current asset or a non current asset whether it is a current liability or non current liability equity capital is a share capital it comes under the heading share capital share premium share capital general reserve reserves and surplus profit and loss account reserves and surplus 8% debentures long term liability provision for taxation the provision for taxation and there are certain items which sometimes will be considered as non current liability and sometimes it is considered as current liability if you see here in the question have they given anything about provision for taxation yes they have given consider provision to be provision of taxation as current liability so we will consider it as current liability and sometimes depending on the question we will consider it as non current liability creditors is a current liability moving on to your asset side land and building fixed asset machinery fixed asset furniture fixed asset stores stores is nothing but your stock in the form of consumable stores which is a current asset debtors current asset bank current asset we were moving on to the additional information which is given in the question which they are telling it as depreciation on machinery written off during the year 25000 so depreciation on machinery is nothing but your non fund item meaning to tell it does not involve any inflow or outflow of cash or it is a paper transaction which are just shown in your books of records or books of accounts so this will not be considered in your schedule of changes in working capital rather it will be considered in your next statement which is funds from operation so here we ignore this additional information and the second information we have considered the provision for taxation to be current liability so we start up with the problem so i have the statement ready already with me so particulars so we first start with current asset so under that what all current assets we have stock debtors and bank i will just copy paste it so we are coming up with the logic 
that when there is an increase in current asset it leads to increase in working capital when there is a decrease in current asset it leads to decrease in working capital if you see stores the previous year it is 66300 and the current year it is 78000 which basically shows it has increased so you'll put down the amount in the increase column 78000 minus 66300 you get the amount to be 11000 700 debtors last year it is 1,9500 the current year it is 1,17,300 again it has increased so your working capital also has increased so you put down the amount in the increase column which is 7,800 bank last year it is 14,400 the current year it is 12,000 which has decreased so you put If there is a decrease in current asset, it leads to a decrease in working capital. So you'll put down the amount in the decrease column: fourteen thousand four hundred minus twelve thousand. So your amount is two thousand and four hundred. Now you total up your current asset. So your current asset is sixty-six thousand three hundred, one lakh nine thousand five hundred, and Fourteen thousand and four hundred. You get the amount to be one lakh ninety thousand and two hundred for the previous year. For the current year, seventy eight thousand plus one lakh seventeen thousand three hundred plus twelve thousand. You get the amount to be two lakh seven thousand and three hundred. Moving on to the next part, which is current liability. So under current liability, we will look into the question. What all do we have in the question? Your provision for taxation and creditors. So take down the amount. Put the amount. Provision for taxation is twenty nine thousand four hundred last year, thirty two thousand seven hundred the current year. So when your current liability increases, it leads to decrease in working capital. When your current liability decreases, it leads to increase in working capital. So provision for taxation last year it is twenty nine thousand four hundred. The current year it is thirty two thousand seven hundred, which has increased. So you'll put down the amount in your decrease column. Thirty two thousand seven hundred minus twenty nine thousand four hundred. You get three thousand three hundred to be your amount. This next one is creditors. The last year it is one lakh. Five hundred in the current year, it is one lakh nine thousand and two hundred. It has increased, or again, your working capital will decrease. So the amount is one lakh nine thousand two hundred minus one lakh and five hundred. It is eight thousand seven hundred. Is your decrease? So now let's total up the current liability. So your current liability is equal to. Twenty-nine thousand four hundred plus one lakh and five hundred, which you get one lakh twenty-nine thousand and nine hundred. Thirty-two thousand seven hundred plus one lakh nine thousand and two hundred, you get the amount to be one lakh forty-one thousand nine hundred. So your total of your current asset is, and you have your total of your current liabilities. Now what we'll do? We will find out the working capital. Working capital is nothing but your current assets minus current liabilities. So is equal to what is your current asset for the previous year? One lakh nine thousand and two hundred minus what is the current liability for the previous year? One lakh twenty nine thousand nine hundred. I again show it. You will minus your current assets. With your current liabilities, so you get the amount to be sixty thousand and three hundred. And for the same way, for the current year, you get the amount to be sixty-five thousand and four hundred. So two lakh seven thousand three hundred minus one lakh forty-one thousand nine hundred is equal to sixty-five thousand and four hundred. Now let's total up 
the increase or decrease so the increase in the working capital is equal to Eleven thousand seven hundred minus plus seven thousand and eight hundred, and the decrease you get it to be two thousand four hundred plus three thousand three hundred plus eight thousand seven hundred, which you get fourteen thousand and four hundred. So our next step is we are supposed to show whether it is a net increase or decrease in working capital so if you see the previous year it is 60300 and the current year it is 65400 by this we get to know it is a net increase in working capital so your net increase in working capital is equal to 65400 minus 60300 which you get 5100 and increase it is showing 19500 so your decrease amount needs to be raised to 5100 so you will get out the total to be therefore your total is equal to 60300 plus 5100 you get 65400 the same way 65400 so your previous and current year total needs to be same and your increase amount is 19500 so your decrease amount also needs to be the same which is 19500 hope the sum is clear since now it is shown as decrease in working in net increase in working capital it will be considered as application of funds in your fund flow statement so your net increase in working capital is 5100 so i am sure this is how the statement will be prepared first you consider your working capital which is current assets minus current liability then you show whether it is a net increase or decrease in working capital and you finally show up your total so your previous year amount total should be equal to your current year and then increase amount total should be equal to your decrease amount So let's move on to the next question, which is prepare the statement of changes in working capital from the following balance sheet. So your equity share capital for the last we have two thousand thirteen and two thousand fourteen, and we have the assets to be two thousand thirteen and two thousand fourteen. Yes. So equity share capital is a non-current liability. Here also we are going to prepare only the statement of changes in working capital. So equity share capital is non-current liability. Debentures is a long-term liability. Tax payable is your current liability. your tax payable is your current liability and your accounts payable is your current liability interest payable is your current liability dividend payable dividend payable can either be considered as current liability or non current liability so in the coming up sums i will tell you how to consider dividend payable and other items as current liability or non current liability according to this question you can just write down a note telling dividend payable considered as non current liability so we will not be considering it in your statement of changes in working capital your fixed asset is a fixed asset long term asset long term investment fixed asset work in progress is your stock current asset stock in trade is your stock current asset accounts receivable is your current asset cash is your current asset so again we start off with current asset so your statement of changes in working capital we do not have any we do not have any uh, adjustments so we 
directly moving on to the statement of changes in working capital so what are your current assets work in progress stock and trade accounts receivable and cash so copy and paste it increase or decrease when current asset increases it leads to increase in working capital when current asset decreases it leads to decrease in working capital work in progress last year it is 80,000 current year it is 90,000 so your so your balance is it will be shown in your increase column since current asset has increased it will be shown in your increase in working capital 90,000 minus your 80,000 you get 10,000 and stock in trade is last year it is 1,50,000 the current year it is 2,25,000 so again it will be shown in your increase since it is increased 2,25,000 minus 1,50,000 you get 75,000 the third item accounts receivable last year it is 70,000 the current year it is 1,40,000 therefore the amount is 1,40,000 minus 70,000 which you get 70,000 to be the increase in working capital cash if you see last year it is 30,000 the current year it is 10,000 which has decreased so when current asset decreases you will show it in your decrease column so what is the decrease 30,000 minus 10,000 you get the amount to be 20,000 so that is all is a part of your current assets so total up your current assets which you get 80,000 plus 1,50,000 plus 70,000 and plus 30,000 so your amount is 1 lakh 3 lakh and 30,000 so your amount is 3 lakh and 30,000 the same way you will total up your current assets for the current year 90,000 plus 2,25,000 plus 1,40,000 plus 10,000 you get 4,65,000 for the current year total of current assets moving on to the next part which is current liability so under current liability what all the items we have is tax payable accounts payable and interest payable So we come up with the same logic when current liability increases your working capital decreases when current liability decreases your working capital increases so your tax payable last year 77,000 current year 43,000 so which has decreased hence it will be shown in your increase column 77,000 minus 43,000 which you get 34,000 accounts payable last year it is 96 this year it is 1,92 which has increased so you will show it up in your decrease column so 1 lakh 92,000 minus 96,000 interest payable last year it is 37,000 the current year it is 45,000 so it is again increased so you will show it up in your decrease column which is 45,000 minus 37,000 so the amount that you get is 8,000 so that's all we have in current liability so total up your current liability so you get the current liability amount to be 77,000 plus 96,000 plus 37,000 and your total current liability for the current year is 43,000 plus 1,92,000 plus 45,000 which you get 80,000. Now what will you do? You will consider the working capital. Working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. So your current asset for the previous year is 3,30,000 minus your current liability is 2 lakh 10,000 1 lakh 20,000 and for the current year it is 1 lakh 85,000 therefore you will also show the net increase or decrease amount so the total amount of net increase is One 
one lakh eighty nine thousand. And the total amount of net decreases. One lakh and twenty-four thousand. So, if you see the working capital last year, it is one lakh twenty thousand. The current year, it is one lakh eighty-five thousand. So, by this, we get to know it is an increase from previous year to current year. It has increased. So, net increase in working capital is equal to one lakh eighty-five thousand minus one lakh twenty thousand, which you get sixty-five thousand as your amount. So this sixty-five thousand is nothing but a part of the decreased amount. So this sixty-five thousand. So your total is equal to one lakh eighty-five thousand. One lakh eighty-five thousand. One lakh and eighty nine thousand and one lakh and eighty nine thousand. So there is an net increase of sixty five thousand in your statement of changes in working capital, which will be shown as an application of fund. Moving on to the third problem, which is prepare the statement of changes in working capital from the following balance sheet. Here we have 2013 and 2014 given as two balance sheet dates. So we will consider it as according to the statement of changes in working capital. So cash is your current asset, debtors current asset, stock and trade current asset, land is fixed asset, share capital fixed asset, trade creditors is current, share capital is fixed, sorry, share capital is shareholders funds, trade creditors is your current liability and retained earnings. In the question itself, they have given mentioning it as non-current. Liability. So we will consider it to be the non-current liability. So moving on to the answer statement of changes in working capital, current asset. So our current asset is cash, debtors, and stock and trade. So your net increase or decrease. So you will show. So the last year it is sixty thousand as your cash, and current year it is ninety four thousand. When current asset increases, your working capital increases. So you will show the amount in the increase column ninety four thousand minus sixty thousand, which is thirty four thousand increase. Debtors last year it is two lakh forty thousand. The current year it is two lakh thirty thousand, which has decreased. So you will show it in your decrease column. Two lakh forty thousand minus ten thousand. Two lakh thirty thousand, which you get ten thousand to be your amount. Stock and trade. Last year it is one lakh sixty thousand. The current year it is one lakh eighty thousand. So which has increased. So you will show it up in your increase column. One lakh eighty thousand minus one lakh sixty thousand, which is twenty thousand. So total up your current assets. So sixty thousand plus two lakh forty thousand plus one lakh sixty thousand is equal to four lakh sixty thousand. Ninety four thousand plus two lakh thirty thousand plus one lakh eighty thousand is equal to five lakh and four thousand. So now moving on to our current liabilities. Your current liability. 
so what is the current liability that we have in the question only your trade creditors so your trade creditors is equal to 140000 in your previous year and 190000 in your current year so when current liability decreases it will be shown in your increase column is equal to 140000 minus 90000 which is 50000 now your working capital your total of the current liability it is the same amount which is 1 lakh and 940,000 and 90,000 now your working capital which is the current asset minus your current liabilities so the for, for the last year it is 4 lakh 60,000 minus 1 lakh 40,000 which you get 3 lakh and 20,000 and for the current year it is 4 lakh and 14,000 now your net increase so total of your increase or decrease in working capital so is equal to increase is one lakh and four thousand and decreases Ten thousand. So your net increase or decrease in working capital. So if you see, it is a net increase in working capital because the last year it is three lakh twenty thousand and the current year it is four lakh and fourteen thousand. So your net increase in working capital is equal to four lakh fourteen thousand minus three lakh and twenty thousand. So ninety four thousand is your increase. And this increase which is 94,000 it is shown in your decrease column so your total will be 4,14,000 here also it is 4 lakh and 14,000 sum is equal to your total of your increased amount which is 1 lakh and 4,000 and the total of the decrease amount which is equal to 10,000 plus 9,094 which is 1 lakh and so this is nothing but your increase is total of your so your ninety four thousand is nothing but your net increase in working capital I'm sure this would be a basic understanding of the schedule of changes in working capital. Thank you everyone.